I think PTCs have a really good opportunity with early intervention um, across the piece uh, in two areas. One is we receive funding from the government, particularly uh, in relation to victims, and we can divert that money into early intervention practices. Uh, and the other reason I think PCCs are so pivotal is that we're leaders and we're facilitators, and we can get people around the table. And the first thing I did when I got elected was get the key uh, movers and shakers around the table to say, how can we do things differently? And we have to do things differently. Money is disappearing, policing is changing. And uh, I've always said, I'm passionate about the fact that I believe every five-year-old has a right to go to school and they can read, write and talk properly. And if we can do that, we can change a generation. More and more, policing is changing towards the risk and harm agenda. And it didn't used to be like that. And because we are using the risk and harm agenda now in everything we do, it's really important that frontline police officers know what to look for, know how to spot a dysfunctional person or a dysfunctional family. Is that person in need of mental health treatment? Is that person addicted to alcohol or drugs? Is that child behaving rationally and normally? And if they're not, we need to know who to refer to and to move that agenda forward. It's really important that police officers know that they're not the frontline practitioner dealing with this issue, but we have to deal with it in partnership. And they could be the first person to spot an upcoming problem and they've got to know who to give it to, where to take it, and to make sure they do, because we can only do this in partnership. They're not going to end up being the lead agency, but it's really important that they're the first agency.